Okay, 5.4 uh, exponential and logarithmic functions. So, learning outcomes for today is find the relationship of exponential and logarithmic functions by algebraic and graphical approaches. They compute the composite functions involving exponential and logarithmic functions and A sketch the graph with the which involve exponential and logarithmic function on the same axis. Relationship between an exponential and logarithmic functions first the inverse of a function exists if uh, if and only if the function is one to one function. Uh, the second one, both graph, which is log and exponential, are reflect on each other about the line y equals to x. Thus, one of is the inverse of other function. So, yeah. The third one. And from that, the domain of f equals to range of f inverse. And range of f equals to domain of f inverse. Alright, so uh, from this graph we can see that uh, let's say we have fx is an exponential function and the inverse of the f is uh, ln x and then ln x is a log function so it's translate uh, at the y equals to x Alright, example 1. Okay, let's say given fx is ln x, A, find the inverse of x, B, determine the domains and ranges of f and f inverse, and C, sketch the graph of f and f inverse on the same axis. Alright, A, find f inverse. So, we have fx equals to ln x, which is x greater than 0. And then f inverse inside f equals to x or f or f inverse x equal to x. And then uh, substitute uh, f inverse into x so that you get ln f inverse x equal to x. And uh, change it into subject f inverse x equals to e to the power of x. So this is your f inverse f inverse x equals to ex which is exponential function okay we have fx equals to ln x we know that the domain is x greater than zero so you get zero to infinity and range for log function always real and then a range of f equals to domain f inverse which is negative infinity infinity and then look at the fx equal to e f inverse x equal to e x. So the domain f inverse is always real, which is negative infinity infinity, and range f inverse is a zero to infinity. So from here we can see that domain f equals to range f inverse and range f inverse equals to domain f inverse all right so uh, we start sketching the graph so it's up to you whether you want to start with exponential function or a log function okay first uh, this one is a log function ln x and then we have y equals to x reflection line y equal to x and you translate uh, ln x at y equals to x so you get the exponential function so y equal to x act as a mirror and then you see that uh, we have a coordinate for ln x is 1 0 and for exponential function we have 0 1 Example 2, given fx equal to ln 3x plus 2, A, find the inverse of f, B, determine the domain and range of f and its inverse, C, hand sketch the graph of part B on the same axis. 
Alright, we have a log function and then find it inverse. So we use this definition f of f inverse x equals to x. So use this definition. So we have ln f inverse inside f ln uh, 3 f inverse x plus 2 equals to x and then we set uh, set up uh, f inverse as a subject so you have 3 f inverse x plus 2 this is a base e e to the power of x so we have f inverse x equals to e x minus 2 and finally here you have e x minus 2 over so this is the inverse of f. Alright, uh, we want to find the domain and range for f and f inverse. So domain for f inverse is always a real number which is negative infinity infinity because this is exponential function. So function eh? Alright. So, to find the range of f inverse is, okay, look at this graph, uh, the function f inverse x equals to, we can written as e power x my, over 3 minus 2 over 3. So, from here, we see that the graph is start at 2 negative, negative 2 over 3. Alright, so this is open negative 2 over 3 and infinity. And the, the domain and range for f, just from here, domain of f inverse is range f, and range f inverse is domain f. Okay, now we are going to sketch uh, the graph f and f inverse on the same axis. Okay, uh, it's up to you either you want to sketch f or f inverse first. So, I would like to sketch this first. Okay, this is exponential function. Alright, so, uh, from here, you draw x and y axis. Y axis, and then from here, we see that this graph has y negative 2 over 3. So when you have y equals to negative 2 over 3, so you have a line here, y negative 2 over 3 below. And don't forget that the reflection line, this is a compulsory. y equals to x is a reflection line. And then when you have y negative 2 over 3, at the same time, you have to draw x negative 2 over 3. Alright, and then look at this graph, exponential. Uh, this graph intersect at y, so you have to find what is the value of y. So when, when when x 0 so you have y equals to e power 0 minus 3 2 over 3 get negative 1 over 3 so this f inverse intercept negative 1 over 3 here so start sketching this graph so look at this here positive positive so the shape is like this from here and intercept here and then never touch negative 2 over 3. So this is your f inverse. And then how to sketch f? And to sketch uh, f inverse, actually you just fold uh, at the line y equals to head. Just fold your paper at y equals to x just your paper at y equals to x y equals to x and then you get f the graph of f here okay so 
Get this graph. Never touch x negative 2 over 3. So you intersect at y negative 2 over 3. And also here is intersect x at negative 1 over 3. So this is the ground for f and f inverse. Example 3. The function f is defined as fx equals to 2 ln x minus 1. And A, state, state the domain of F. B, show that F inverse exists. C, find F inverse. And lastly, sketch the graph of F and F inverse on the same axis. State the domain of F. So this is the log function. So the domain is x greater than 0, which is 0 to infinity. Okay, show sure that f inverse exists. So I use algebraic method. So we use fx1 equals to fx2. So we have 2 ln x1 minus 1 equals to 2 ln x2 minus 1. So negative 1, negative 1 both sides can be cancelled. So you have 2 ln x1. 2 ln x2 so 2 2 ln x1 equals to ln x2 so x1 equals to x2 so therefore f is 1 to 1 function therefore f inverse x exists Okay, find f inverse for c. So we have uh, fx equals to 2 ln x minus 1. So we use f or f inverse x equals to x. Use this definition. So 2 ln x replaced with f inverse minus 1 equals to x. So we have 2 ln f inverse x equals to x plus 1 and divide by 2 x plus 1 divide by 2 change it into index form so you get e to the power of x plus 1 over 2 so this is the inverse of log function function which is exponential function Okay, they uh, sketch the f and f inverse on the same axis. So I start with f inverse because this is exponential function, so it's more easier. This is we have x positive, y positive, and we find uh, y intercept at 0, y equals to e. 1 over 2, so you get the y intercept at e to the power 1 over 2. Alright, so draw x and y axis. Okay, so this one. Okay, and then draw y equals to x reflection line y equals to x and then we start with exponential functions so positive positive so the graph from x and y positive so it's so like this so intercept at e to one of e to the power one over two so this is your f inverse so how to find uh, the graph of f you just fold at y fold the line y equals to x so you get this one we have y intercept at e to the power 1 over 2 and we also have x intercept at e to the power 1 over 2 so this is your fx
Alright, composite and inverse function involving exponential and log functions. Example 4, given that fx equals to 2x plus 1 and gx equals to ex. Uh, function f is a linear, g uh, function for g is exponential function. A, find f or g, b, by using graphical method. Determine domain and range of G O F. Alright, A we considered as below. So we uh, the question asks G O F. So F inside G. So F is a linear function. You put inside G and the output you get E to the power of 2x plus 1. Alright, so we get the function G O F, we get E to the power of 2. To uh, e to the power two x plus one, which is exponential function. So from here, we can sketch the graph at zero. We get uh, e to the power of one e, and then this is x positive, y positive. So the graph is like this. And after that, we can find the domain for g o f, which is real number, and then range of f is. 0 to infinity. Alright, example 5. Uh, two functions f and g are defined as follows. f is a log function, g is a linear function. Find g inverse of f and then sketch the graph of part a. Hence, determine the domain and range of the composite function. Alright, uh, to uh, so for a g inverse of f so first you, you have to find g inverse first so how to find g inverse uh, g inverse g, g inverse inside g equals to x you use the definition and then substitute x with the g inverse so g uh, 3g inverse plus 5 equals to x after that uh, let the g inverse as a subject so you get uh, g inverse of x equals to x minus 5 over 3. Alright, so start uh, to solve g inverse of f. So now we put f inside g inverse. So our f is a log function, ln x minus 2. And then you put into the function of g inverse. So you have ln x minus 2 minus 5 over 3 all right so this one can be written as 1 over 3 ln x minus 2 minus 5 over 3 all right uh, so we have a previous question uh, we get g inverse of f is 1 over 3 ln x minus 2 min, uh, minus 5 over 3 this is a log function so look at the domain so the domain is here this is the domain of function, this function, x minus 2 greater than 0, x greater than 2. So we have x2 and then we have an intercept at uh, x which is when y is 0. So we have 1 over 3 long x minus 2 minus 5 over 3 equal to 0. So we have 1 over 3 long x minus 2 is 5 over 3. So you get ln x minus 2 equals to 5. And then you have x minus 2 e to the power of 5 as e to the power of f plus 2. So you get the x-intercept at here e to the power of 5 plus 2. So this is a log function. So we have this one is positive. And then here is positive, so the graph is like this. Alright, so after that, this is the graph. So the domain, we can read from the graph, 2 to infinity, open, and the range always real. Given m, uh, which is log function, and n is exponential function, fine n of m and m of n which is a composite function state the relationship between n and m and sketch a graph of both functions on the same 
axis. All right, now uh, we put uh, n inside m. E x minus two over three, and we put inside m. So what happened? Three x we can we replace with uh, e x minus two over three, and don't forget plus two. You can still get each other. So I learn e x minus two plus two. So we need this one can be cancel each other long e x you get x all right for n and n so we put uh, m inside n so we have long 3x plus 2 so now long 3x plus 2 you put into the function n so we have e long 3x plus 2 minus 2 over 3 so here e ln to the power so you get 3x plus 2 minus 2 over 3 so here you get 3x 2 minus 2 cancelling each other so you have 3x over 3 so we get x all right uh, so as a conclusion we get uh, both of this question, we get x. So we can say that n and m are inverses of each other because uh, we use this definition f or f inverse equals to x. Alright, so this is the graph of m and n. So m and n are inverses each other. So reflect on the y equals to x. So graph m and n are reflection on each other on the line y equal to x. So they are inverses of each other. Alright, this is homework for you. Try this and try to solve this question. Eh? Alright, see you next time. So bye-bye.